and welcome to a short video showing our suggested picture settings for the Samsung UE65 JS9500. As always, we recommend you select the movie picture mode because this will immediately give you the most accurate out of the box settings. If you do nothing else, always select the movie mode when first setting up your new Samsung TV. Next, you need to set the backlight to suit your viewing environment. The JS9500 is a particularly bright TV and we found that a setting of 8 out of 20 was more than sufficient to give you a nice bright picture without being uncomfortable to watch at night. The contrast, or white level, controls the bright part of the image and should be set to give you as bright an image as possible without losing detail in the whites. You can use our setting of 80 or adjust to suit your specific TV and viewing environment using a calibration disc. The brightness, or black level, should be set as low as possible to give you deep, dark blacks but not so low that you lose detail in the parts of the image just above black. You can use our setting of 45 or again adjust yourself using a calibration disc. Once you have correctly set the contrast and brightness controls, you should have a dynamic and punchy image. For the sharpness control, we found that the default setting was too high, and in fact, to ensure there is no unwanted ringing or edge enhancement, we recommend using a setting of zero. You can leave the color and tint controls in their default settings We'll address these controls when looking at the color management system. To make sure your calibrator settings are being used with all inputs, apply the picture mode to all sources. The picture size control has been changed slightly from last year, so to ensure that there is no overscan or unwanted scaling, choose picture size 16 to 9 and select fit to screen on. You can leave all the 3D controls at the default settings. In terms of the advanced settings, you should turn dynamic contrast off. You should also turn black tone off and leave flesh tone at zero. We found that none of these controls improve picture quality and might actually be detrimental. In the case of this particular review sample, we used a gamma of minus one, but this might not be the case with your TV, so you might be better off leaving it at zero. In terms of the white balance controls, we found that the grayscale was very accurate out of the box possibly because it's a pre-production sample, so we only needed to make minor adjustments using the 10-point controls. The improvement would probably be imperceptible, and every TV is different, but if you're interested, these are the settings we used. When it came to the colour space, which is Samsung's name for the colour management system, we used the custom setting. However, once again the auto setting was extremely accurate out of the box, so you might be better off just selecting that. Although if you want to try our detailed colour settings, here they are for red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, and magenta. When it comes to the picture options, we recommend a colour tone of Warm 2, which is closest to the industry standards. We also recommend turning the MPEG noise filter off. For interlaced content, we recommend leaving Film Mode to Auto 2. And with film based content, leave Auto Motion Plus off. We found that for the smart LED local dimming, a setting of low provided the best blacks with the minimum of artifacts such as haloing around bright objects against a dark background. That completes our recommended settings for the Samsung UE65 JS9500. Hopefully they will help you get the most from your new TV. You can read the actual review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.